Today we're gonna to show you how to clean, condition, and protect your leather just like a pro. Now when you have a brand new car, you wanna get the leather looking good right at the beginning so it stays looking great for years. So what are we gonna to do today, Matt? So first things first, we're gonna wipe down all the leather with the leather cleaner to wipe off all the gunk and dirt and grime. We're gonna hit it with the leather conditioner, which is sort of like a lotion for the leather, make it nice and soft, nice and supple. Then we're gonna protect and seal the leather with a brand new leather serum. Yeah, when we finish up this job, the leather's gonna look great. It's gonna have that professional job. So let's go get to work. So now we're on the inside of the car and we're gonna show you exactly how to clean, condition, and protect any leather in any vehicle. Now this Audi is almost brand new. It only has a few thousand miles on the clock, but we need to make sure that the leather stays looking good. One of the biggest problems with leather is that people don't take care of the leather from the beginning. They let it go for a couple years and then they wanna start taking care of it. But when you go to take care of it after a couple years, the leather already has a lot of wear on it and it's already been exposed to a lot of different contaminations and UV solar rays that can wear down the leather. So we're gonna start good right from the beginning, clean the leather, condition it, and protect it. So the first step I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clean the leather. Now leather is susceptible to a lot of different things like body oils and a lot of different contamination like food and different types of dirt that get on the leather. It can actually wear down the color. So I'm gonna first start by cleaning it. Now I'm gonna use our Chemical Guys Leather Cleaner. Now this leather cleaner is ready to use. It can be diluted if necessary or if desired. Now this leather cleaner is colorless and odorless, so it works on all types of leather. It works on synthetic leather, all natural leather, it even works on coated leather and vinyl. So it works on all types of surfaces on any vehicle. This Audi actually has all natural coated leather. So it's gonna work great on here to enhance the color, clean off any dirt and debris, and make sure it looks good. And one place I'm also gonna concentrate on is the steering wheel. If you have a leather steering wheel, it's important to care for the steering wheel because your hands always have oil on it. It's just how our human bodies are. They, they push out oil to keep our skin maintained. But every time we touch our steering wheel, it'll start looking greasy and shiny. So we're gonna clean it up and make sure it looks its best. So I'm gonna be using microfiber towels to do this job. We actually make a full car care line of leather cleaning brushes, but on new leather, we don't need to get that intense on the cleaning and microfiber towels are just gonna do a perfect job. So let's start with the steering wheel and then move our way down to the seats. So I'm gonna take my leather cleaner and I'm gonna spray a few sprays on my microfiber towel. And once I have a few sprays done, I'm gonna easily take my towel and start cleaning the steering wheel. Now this leather is not very dirty. I could actually get along without cleaning it and just go straight to conditioner. But I wanna make sure that any type of manufacturing oils or any type of gunk is off of the leather so it makes sure it looks its best. Plus, you don't wanna put conditioner onto leather that isn't clean. If you do that, it's actually gonna to lead to the, the conditioner and the serum not sticking to the leather as well. There we go, now our leather cleaner is fast acting. So once we spray it on the surface, look at the dirt that comes off. This dirt is coming off the leather and this car is, is almost brand new. It only has about 4,000 miles on the clock. So it just has its first oil change and it needs to have the leather clean. And this is only from people touching it. But now the leather feels cleaner. It doesn't have any slippery feel because the cleaner doesn't interact and make it feel slippery. It's gonna keep it looking its best. So now let's move on to the seat. I'm gonna take some more leather cleaner again. And I'm gonna spray it right on here. Now what I like about our leather cleaner is that it's approved for all OEM seats. So if you have OEM seats, it's approved for it. And if you have aftermarket, it's gonna work great too. So I'm gonna take my leather cleaner and I'm gonna go ahead and scrub the whole seat. Now I'm using microfiber because I don't wanna harm the seat. I don't wanna hurt it, but I wanna make sure that I clean all of the oil off. Now I know this is black leather and black leather hides a lot of damage, but still, if you get dirt, if you get dust on your leather, it's gonna start looking bad after a few years. And this is all about taking care of your car from the beginning. One thing a lot of people notice is that they have a brand new car and they're like, oh, I got a brand new car. It doesn't need any detailing. That doesn't matter. Cars uh, that are brand new still need detailing. They still need to be taken care of. If you in invest thousands of dollars into a brand new car, you wanna make sure that it stays clean for years and it keeps looking good. There we go, so you just wanna take it and rub the leather gently and let the cleaner do the job. The cleaner and the microfiber will help do the best job. Okay, so now that I have the surface clean, I'm gonna grab a fresh new microfiber towel, one that's dry, and I'm gonna buff off any residue. 
There we go. Now I love this leather cleaner because it doesn't leave any residue behind. It just gives a pure original look. There we go. That really does look good. There we go. Now if you notice the leather is original, it's dry, it does not have any type of greasy feel, and it took off any types of body oils that were on the leather. Plus, it's starting to feel a little bit softer, which is what I want to get out of the leather. Now, you can also clean small areas like uh, this armrest. The armrest is very important to clean because when you're leaning your elbow on the armrest, all the grease on your skin is rubbing on the armrest itself. So, spray some more leather cleaner on there and just gently rub. You don't want to be too aggressive with the leather because leather's like skin. It was skin on an animal. So we want to make sure that even though the leather is brand new, we don't want to harm it. I'm going to take Mike's rubber towel and just buff it off. Now our leather looks great. So now we're going to move on to the next step. I'm going to go grab Matt and he's going to take us on to the next step where we're going to condition the leather and restore the soft feel before we protect it. I'm going to go grab Matt and then we'll see you back inside. So Greg showed you how to remove any dirt and oils from the leather. Now it's time to put some conditioner on it to help restore that soft, supple feel. So leather care is a lot like uh, um, caring for your own skin. First you wash your hands you, to remove any dirt and oils and uh, stuff that's stuck on them. Then you rub in lotion to make your skin nice and soft and to prevent it, any cracking and bleeding. So you might notice if you get in and out of your car over years and years, the bolsters actually wear out very quickly. And on older cars, this piece here and this piece will actually crack and break, making your car look a lot older than it really is. So to prevent things like that, you need to use a conditioner. Our conditioner is super high grade. It moisturizes the leather and makes it nice, soft, and supple. Helps your leather last a lot longer. To use it is very simple. Take a microfiber applicator. I like to use microfiber. You can use foam, but for spreading things like creams, I like to use the microfiber on the inside of a car. Take your leather conditioner. You're just going to put a couple lines on the applicator pad, okay? You don't need too much. That's enough to get started here. So now I take the applicator and I'm just going to fold it over really quick a couple different ways. So I want to help spread the product into the applicator pad. You can even use your finger and you want to do that. You don't want to spread a fat glob straight on, especially if you have leather with the small holes in, in the seats, um, with the perforated leather, you don't want to get a fat clump of the lotion on that kind of stuff because it can, you know, just get really messy. So once you get your pad primed up, just go ahead and you work it over the whole seat. So first I'm just going to spread all this out over the whole seat here. It's a lot like lotion. So first get it over all the surfaces that you want to treat then you actually rub it in to the pores of the skin, of the hide, right? This is actual leather. This is real leather. So this was once the hide of a, of a cow. It's, it's actual skin. So you, you know, rub the leather conditioner into the actual pores of the flesh, of this hide. Rub it in. It's exactly like you're rubbing in lotion on your own hands. So just work it over. This is something you should do at least maybe once a year. Uh, you need to clean your seats as often as uh, you see fit, whether you use your car a lot, you might have to clean it more often. Um, if you don't use like, you know, such as the passenger seat so much, you don't have to do it as often, but the driver's seat, the steering wheel, the shift knobs, those get used every time anyone's in the car because you know, the driver drives the car. So those parts wear out and get used the most. So you need to keep those parts clean. Once your leather looks kind of shiny or looks greasy or oily, uh, then it's time to clean it. Leather should never like really look greasy or look shiny. It should always kind of look sort of matte and crisp. So once you get that look, it's time to clean it up with the products and to condition it at least once a year just to keep it soft and supple and lasting for years and years to come. So you see that I've worked in the product and there's actually hardly any excess left on the surface, right? So you can see all the areas look the same. I don't have any dry spots or anything uh, lacking. I'm gonna do the headrest really quick right up here. I'm just gonna put a couple more dabs here on the applicator. I'm gonna spread this up here, work it in. So now the whole front of the seat 
looks nice and even. Okay, so once you've worked in the conditioner, just like lotion, there's no splotches, no oily residues. I'm just gonna take a microfiber towel and buff off any excess, but you can see I'm hardly taking any off because this leather is new, but you can see that it was actually pretty dry and it sucked up all that conditioner like it was nothing. It's, it's already deep in the pores of the leather, making it nice and supple, soft again, and there's nothing to wipe up. So <clears throat> this is how your leather should look when you're done with the conditioning process. It should not look greasy and oily. If you go to like a lower end of my detail shop or like a car wash and you get the express detail done, they might use low grade products to just make your stuff look really wet and nasty. And that's not how leather is supposed to look. It should look crisp and clean a lot like this. So we've done the leather conditioner. This helps to soften up the leather, keep it nice and supple helps to protect the leather and to make it uh, last a lot longer. The next step is to use a serum. Now the serum is a leather protectant. It's kind of like a sealant or a sunscreen for your leather. That's something you should also do. Uh, that's something you should consider uh, if uh, you have sort of a more extreme environment. If, you're, uh, if you have a convertible top, your top's down, just the seats are constantly exposed to sunlight and things like that, you're gonna wanna use a serum. You could also use a serum if you want an, an, a, an exceptionally crisp um, matte look on your leather. Uh, that's when you use the leather serum. So I'm gonna bring Greg back out and he'll show you how to apply the leather serum and he'll talk about some more of the benefits. See you in a minute. So now we're back with the third step in how to clean, condition, and protect your leather. So we've already cleaned it up, we've added our conditioner, and now we're gonna do the final step and we're gonna protect it. Now for the final step, we're gonna be using the Chemical Guys Leather Protectant Serum. Now the serum is designed to protect the leather and resist dirt and debris and any type of body oil on the leather. And it also protects with a matte sheen. So if you're looking to protect your leather and give no shine, this is what you wanna use on your leather. Now you can use the conditioner by yourself or you can use the serum by itself or you can use them both together. I like to use them both together because the conditioner is gonna make the leather feel soft and supple and then the leather protectant serum is gonna actually protect the leather and make sure that it doesn't crack and it doesn't fade. One of the leading causes of leather failure is cracking and that's because UV solar light and heat beats on the leather and then what happens is it starts to crack and degrade the actual skin. The leather protectant serum is gonna sink down and it's actually gonna protect the leather and resist any type of damage. So let's go ahead and spread it on. So let's shake up our leather protectant serum and then I'm gonna put two nice lines right on my applicator pad. And if you have perforated leather, you can actually fold it just like this. I'm gonna fold it up. There we go. Now I'm gonna spread this right on the leather. Now the leather protectant serum, just like the conditioner, smells like brand new leather. So this is gonna restore that fresh leather scent back to your vehicle. So if you're using this on an older vehicle, or even a newer vehicle, it's gonna give the fresh leather scent that a lot of people like to have on leather. Now just like the cleaner and just like the conditioner, this works on any type of leather. So it works on natural leather, it also works on uh, coated leather and uncoated leather, and even works on pleather and vinyl as well. There we go, now I like to rub it in to make sure that it gets a nice bond to the surface and looks its best. Now I'm also going to take the protectant and I'm going to add a little bit to my armrest. And for the last final step, I'm going to add it to my steering wheel. Now what I like about these microfiber applicator pads is that I can grab the steering wheel and completely do it in one quick swipe. So that means I get the front and the back real easy. Now what I like about using leather serum on the steering wheel is that it's not going to give any type of slippery feel. So when you have a steering wheel that's leather, you don't want any type of slippery feel on the wheel. You want to have a good grip and a good control of your car. The leather protectant serum is actually going to resist any type of slippage on the steering wheel. It's going to keep you safe when you're driving. Plus any type of oil that's on your hand, it's going to resist that. So your leather is on your wheel is going to stay looking better for longer. So now that I have that done, I'm going to take my microfiber towel and I'm going to wipe it off. 
and you notice it gives a nice matte original sheen. It doesn't give a greasy look, it actually makes it original and it feels original too, and that's what I like. I'm gonna go to the seat now, I'm gonna buff off my serum. I'm gonna go and move up to the top. And then I'm gonna do my armrest. Here we go. Now our leather looks its best and it's gonna stay looking good for a long time. Even if you have an old car or a new car, you still need to take care of your leather, clean it, condition, and protect it often. I like to do this every couple months to make sure that my leather stays looking good and keeps looking good for years. One thing that you don't want to do with leather is you don't want to neglect it because over time it's going to lead to discoloration, cracking, and your leather feeling hard. So if easily every couple months you condition your leather, you clean your leather, and you protect your leather, it's going to stay looking good and feeling soft. So hopefully now you know how to detail your leather just like a pro. So hopefully I'll see you next time right here in the Detail Garage.